Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new here. Now you may or may not know but a few years back I got a baby little red eared slider turtle. The cutest little turtle, he was so tiny, a friend actually found him in their driveway, he ended up in my hands and then in a 20 gallon aquarium. Well as he grew I obviously needed to upgrade his aquarium and he eventually ended up in the 38 gallon aquarium you see here. Now as you look around this tank, it is a pretty big tank. It's not in the best condition. We have some hard water stains here or there and that's because this was his home for about two or three years I believe. A long time I built an above the tank basking dock and he did really really good in here. He or she actually don't know the gender but anyways. He thrived in here until he became a little too big and ultimately outgrew this tank. Now unfortunately the way things are going I don't have space for another aquarium nor do I want to set up a larger aquarium to house this turtle but it's obvious that he can't live in this tank for very much longer, or he couldn't at the time, he outgrew it. And I also have this 1,000 gallon koi pond in my backyard. As you can see, it might look a little bit different from when you guys saw it last. The lily pads have really, really grown in, and the koi are all doing amazing, although they're kind of hiding right now. There's a variety of sizes. We have mainly large ones now. Unfortunately, the small ones, I think, all got eaten by birds. Um, which is sad, but you'll also notice this kind of hideous. I'm not gonna lie white fence got put up and that's there for a very very good reason So if you're putting the pieces together here, basically I took the turtle from the inside aquarium in the inside world I guess you could say and introduced him into my koi pond outside now There were a couple things I did to get ready for this I obviously wanted to make sure that the outdoor temperature was gonna match the indoor temperature So right now we're going into summer where it's not too hot quite yet, but the water in the koi pond is right around 76 degrees, which is basically what his indoor aquarium was set at. And we also have been getting quite a bit of sun these days, very similar to his artificial basking dock, where if he wanted to, he could get out and bask in the sun with real UVB rays and not, you know, artificial rays. So I went ahead and fenced it all off with this simple white picket garden fencing. It was pretty cheap. I ended up needing about two and a half rolls. I think they came in like, 16 foot sections. I just hammered them into the ground which is honestly a lot harder than I expected which is why they look so uneven but that's okay. And then I pretty much just put the turtle in here. Let's actually see if we can find him. Now while we do look for him I did want to make a few notes. I did make sure that the water level was going to come up to some of these rocks like that one um, right up to the edge and that's what's going to allow the turtle to come out and bask easy. Uh, obviously he has this entire kind of rock perimeter around to go ahead and get out of the water and bask. But some of the areas are a lot more steep than others, like that one right there. So I did wanna make sure there were a couple low hanging rocks where he would always be able to get out of the water. You're also gonna notice some of these lily pads have chunks taken out of them and that's because the turtle's doing what turtles do and rips them all up and eats them. He is pretty destructive, however, Luckily, there are so many plants in here and so many lily pads. A couple gone here and there won't really make a difference. And I think the koi actually pick on quite a few as well. Which I don't know why the koi are being so skittish right now. They're usually always out and about. Actually, if you look right there, you can see there's a little hyphen banded shark. He's also doing really well. There, you might be able to see him a little bit better. Uh, these are actually great because they eat a lot of the algae that grows in koi ponds. As you can see, all that green algae on the skimmer, that's just part of having a pond and those little sharks are amazing algae eaters, believe it or not. I also wanted to make sure the vegetation had started to come back from the winter in the koi pond because that would provide some food. Turtles sometimes get finicky when they're moved to a new environment for the first time. And although he was eating pellets really, really well in the aquarium inside, I wasn't sure if he would take to food right away when he got moved outside. Luckily though, he ended up eating the next day and it was no issue, but that was just something I considered before moving him. So that brings us to his current 38 gallon aquarium that is now turtle-less. So what I did was I went ahead and got some minnows and some other small cheap feeder fish and put them in that tank to kind of keep it cycled. And it's basically serving as a pond fish quarantine tank right now. It's gonna be set up for a few more weeks and it's gonna allow these minnows time to eat and grow up and get healthy, uh, healthy enough to go into the koi pond because as I mentioned, we did lose a lot of our minnows last year. So I do wanna restock. Those minnows are great in the koi pond for eating things like mosquitoes and stuff like that. So they're gonna be sitting in the turtle tank quarantining for the next few weeks before they ultimately move to the pond as well. And then that tank will be decommissioned and probably sold. I've loved having this tank. I think the 38 gallon tank was the perfect size for my turtle. I put down that little fake flooring, um, which kept the tank looking really clean. And overall, it was a great habitat for what it was, but especially with turtles that grow really big, it's just what happens is he outgrew his tank. So I'm hoping he's gonna continue to live a long and happy life in the koi pond. Turtles in the wild do this thing all the time. 
Um, during winter, I'm still debating whether I need to bring him inside or not. That's just going to be something I'm going to monitor as the temperatures drop. Turtles can hibernate, I think it's called. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I've been doing little bits of research here and there. I'm more worried about getting through the summer months right now and making sure the water doesn't get too warm. There's an umbrella over the pond, which helps fight some of the algae growth as well. But at the time of recording this video, he's been out there for, I think, around two weeks now, and all has been well, which is amazing. Fingers crossed he continues to do well. I have noticed that sometimes in the morning when I'm feeding the koi, the turtle will actually come up and try to bite some of the koi. So I've actually been like grabbing him out of the water, like catching him in the act, you know, like when a dog pees inside, you gotta like catch him in the act. I don't know if it's working, but the koi fish are so big that the turtle's really not affecting them. They don't have any ripped fins, they don't have any nipped fins, so the koi fish are pretty big and bolsterous and they're fending on their own just fine. Overall, the move went super smooth though. As I mentioned, he did eat on pretty much day two. And obviously now that he's been in the pond for a little bit longer, he's very comfortable with his surroundings. Um, I'll be able to look out the kitchen window sometimes and see him up basking on the rocks, which is really cool. And although he's not right in front of me every day in an aquarium where I can easily interact with him, it's still nice that he comes out to eat every day and once again, we'll go ahead and walk around the rock and live his best little turtle life. But that is gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the little turtle update. I will definitely continue to update you guys on how the turtle goes in the koi pond. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching and good bye.